Hey fellow readers, it's Christine and welcome to or welcome back to my channel where I like to read dark and disturbing things. Today I have a kind of sort of TBR for March for you. <laughs> sort of because I'm not the best at following a TBR. I feel like if I actually make one, I just really drag my feet and I don't follow it. And I feel like that's kind of where my dog is clip clopping. I feel like that's kind of where I got caught up in February. I wanted to read Swan Song. I wanted to be part of all these things. And then what did I do? I, I didn't. So I am going to call this a pile of possibilities because I make no promises to myself or to anyone else when it comes to this because if it sucks the joy out of reading then I'm not going to do it because reading is for fun. So there are a few things. These are just the things I are on my radar. Let's say that. So first of all, I never did finish Swan Song. Um, that was part of Kelsey from Simon Slasher's group read and um, I think that we have two weeks left technically because I think she was gonna do like a wrap up mid somewhere in the middle of March and I'm about only a hundred pages into that book so I would like to really kind of focus on that one during the first two weeks in the hopes that I can maybe participate in her um, discussion about the book or at least be able to watch it without major spoilers so there's that um, next up Amy from Noelle Reads I wanted to uh, join in on her book group that she has over on Discord. Anything I list, I will um, link below, all the channels that I name. So that is The Good House, and I was able to pick up a copy of this used on Pango um, a few weeks ago in preparation for this. So I'm hoping to get to this. Another little reading event that I'm pretty excited about is um, Crystal from Fiber Artsy and Jason from Jason Weird Reads are hosting a week of weird and I just think that sounds really fascinating and then I got to thinking about it and I'm like what makes something weird versus horror I mean I know that there can be horror without weird because there's just like super violent things but can we have weird without horror and I don't know um I don't have a ton of things but this has been kind of like on my radar for a while and I thought this would be perfect for Haunted Reads. And this is by Carlton Mellick III, The Haunted Vagina. If that's not weird, I don't know what is. And actually everything that I've seen by this author is very weird and strange seeming. And this is a shorty. It's only 90 pages and it's like pretty big font. So I could definitely get through that. And then I was just gonna kind of keep it open. I have two of these like tomes of like short stories. So this is uh, Classic Tales of Horror. I think I got this from Costco because I mean, look at that, I had to. But there are definitely some stories from H.P. Lovecraft in this one, as well as this classic horror stories. And I wanna say I got this from Barnes and Noble, but I'm not 100% sure. And again, we've got some more HP Lovecraft. I've never actually read anything by HP. And um, yeah, I thought that would be a good way to start. And then I thought, you know, if I am all caught up on everything, I will find more thing, weird things to read. But for now, I'm just gonna kind of keep it simple and uh, watch what other people are reading. And then I could always read later. You could always read weird things later. So this next read along, I actually found out from Crystal's channel as well. And this is Brad Proctor's uh, reading group. And yeah, I kind of did not read the book I was supposed to read last month for that, but it's on my Kindle. I'll read to it. I'll get to it sometime. But I actually own this one. And I thought, well, if I have time, I will also try to read The Hacienda by Isabel Cañas. Um, I got this from Book of the Month a few months ago and haven't gotten to it yet. So that would be a great opportunity if I'm all caught up. No pressure. The last reading event that I wanted to get in on was middle grade March because I do have some middle grade books here. Oh, I forgot to grab some of them. Um, anyway, I have I have a lot because I keep wanting to get into books that I would like to read with my son and um, some of these I thought he would be into. Some of them I just really like the cover and the first two I was guilty of because they're both about witches 
and they're super cute. And I think there's a second book for this one out now as well. And then 13 Witches. So this one looks like it is a group of young witches who are um, getting put into different covens, kind of like um, <laughs> with the sorting hat, it sounds like. And I guess there's a spot that if you don't fit in, you're like considered the spare, which is not a good thing. Everyone kind of looks down on you and you're not, you don't have as much magic as everyone else. And it says that not only did she end up being the spare, but when, when her and the other spares try to seal like their own coven, um, something goes wrong and it means that they will be stuck as witchlings, which means they're going to lose their magic if they don't make something happen. So it looks like they have to defeat the dreaded night beast and work together to succeed. So I just think this one sounds like a fun time and I really love this cover. Look how cute they are. I don't have it with me, but um, around Christmas time, I think it was Barnes and Noble had like a a uh, sale on box sets of books and so I did get the Morgan Crow series which I have read the first two books um, but I was really hoping to get my son into those because he really likes reading um, Amari and the Knight Brothers with me and uh, it seemed I think it has a similar vibe so I haven't gotten him to read them he just wants to read the same stories over and over but anyway I haven't read the third one yet. I kind of want to reread the first two. So I do have those. And then here's another book that I had purchased for him because he really loves the Percy Jackson series. And I saw that this is some short stories and one of them is by Rick Riordan. And I just like the idea of evil carnivals or cursed carnivals. So this is short stories um, revolving around a cursed carnival. So I don't know if I'll read the whole thing, but I'm going to try to at least get to some of the stories. And then lastly, I bought this purely for the cover and <laughs> come on, the unicorn thief. There's a freaking black pegasus on the cover and there's lightning and how could this, how could this be bad? Tell me. So I picked this up. It looks like this one is about, um, Skandar Smith, who wants to become a unicorn rider. And then some just when his dream is about to come true, somebody steals the most powerful unicorn that there is and becomes a threat. Um, also, I got this, I want to say from Waterstones. And look at that. It's got red sprayed edges. It's signed by the author. If this one is not great, I'm going to be really mad that is false advertising you can't have a cover like this and not be good and then lastly this has nothing to do with any readathons this is something i wanted to read and this book made me break my no buy that i was doing i was doing the challenge where um you read what you own and my number was 25 i was going to read 25 books that i own before i purchased any new books well that did not happen I think I made it to around 18. I was doing pretty good and it's been three months. And what happened was, <laughs> let me let me tell you. So uh, basically I got to a point where I felt like I could only read books that I owned because I really wanted to buy some new books. And then it was kind of messing with me. And I think this, I'm gonna blame it on my reading month last month because I felt like um, I would have read all these other books if I didn't have this challenge going. And it started to feel like I had to read certain books and I didn't want to. And I didn't want to. Okay, the other reason is this book. And I don't know if you saw, but my favorite book of last year was How to, or How to, How to Kill a Chainsaw, I almost said it, was, um, my Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones and the sequel came out and I feel like I've waited long enough. It's been out for a few weeks and I started hearing good things and I just couldn't wait anymore. So I went to Barnes and Noble and they put this stupid sticker on it, which is not cool, but I'm excited to get to this. Please don't break my heart, Stephen Graham Jones, please. All right. So that is my pile of possibilities for March. If you have any really great weird reads, I'd love to hear them. And just so we're clear, this doesn't mean I'm gonna read all these. I know I'm not, but this is just my pile to pick from when I'm feeling like I need a little inspiration. I'll just glance over there and see what I want to read next. And I hopefully I can get through Swan Song 
it's it's an interesting book so far it's not like I have to do this thing but um it's just so long that you know that you're you could read so, several books in that time and you're like oh but I could I could have read three or four books maybe but all right I'm rambling thank you for watching and I want to hear if you're participating participating in middle grade March I'd love to hear what you've picked out um I just think that middle grade is a fun time and sometimes I like it more than YA. I feel like the characters have more development sometimes. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching and stay spooky.